Hello guys. Today I'm back with to play the game. Let's see who I'll be facing with. So we'll start the game. Oh, it's taking a lot of time for me for the system to get a game for me let us see who it will bring okay a 1399 player so let us start i'm going to try and make and i'm going to try and play with the london system uh, so i'm going with d5 Oh, he has aborted. So let us start with a new game. 1442. Yes, this is a good challenge. And the country I am going to play against is Kazakhstan. Hello, oh, same. I start with D4. KD5. I go with Knight F3. Okay, he's aggressive is come with me so what i'll do is i'll just open up uh, my bishop and i'll move it towards f4 the main idea of this london system is to con try and control with the e5 square so let us see how well we can do it now i'm going to open e3 so that I can move by bishop as well. Is it good idea? I don't know till now. I haven't faced the g4 move, bishop g4 move. So, uh, should I try to make it a pin, or is it a good idea to get my to play h3 and attack the bishop and also create a square for the for the black bishop of mine as well. So I think it's a good idea. So I'm playing h3. So let us see what it will happen. Oh, he takes it. Okay. Okay. I think knight d2 would have been good move. So anyways, we'll also take it with g3 with g pawn. <coughs> oh ho, he's attacking my this one as well. Okay. Okay. I have open file for my rook. That's a great thing. So I'll just play this C3. My idea is if he takes, I'll also take with C pawn, and this is also okay. This has also opened for my queen to move to a4 and pin the knight as well. Lot of ideas are there, so let us see. And I also want to take. And I also want to get my bishop out. Before that, I'll go with queen b3. My aim is to attack the b7 pawn and also try to. And also, after that, if he defends, then I will go to queen a4 and then pin the knight as well so what can what are my other options as well he can tell he what are his options for me he can either take oh man okay see what i was thinking was if it 
takes with uh, C cross D5 then I will take with uh, C cross D5 as well and then he can do it with Knight also Knight cross so I think I need to provide some support to the uh, D, D4 pawn and it is also a good opportunity for me to pro to open my bishop uh, hence I am going with the move e3 so let us see now what he will do okay so he doesn't want my bishop to come and pin his knight okay that's okay Okay, what are my now ideas? What are my ideas now? Uh, what happens if I go to A4, pawn A4? for does nothing man I think I will just develop my knight to d3 that f f3 pawn is a problem for me for now because it's just obstructing my knight okay he has closed the structure and then he attacks the queen he also opens his bishop pretty good move yeah so I just bring my queen back see one thing I observe in his structure is that uh, all the pawns have come to the have come to the white have, are targeting the queen side and also the second thing is they are all present on the white uh, squares they are occupying white squares okay but this is different a5 he has got to a5 and he is trying to make a rush for the a side So what should be my approach if I go to queen a4 what will happen I am attacking the knight either he has to defend it or he has to move his knight he cannot move because it is a pin he has to defend it I think he will do it with uh, rook c8 rook c8 is a good move or he can do it with knight as well open the knight okay now thinking this I find b5 square as a good outpost for my knight so I should have targeted before yeah so I play with, I'll play with a4 Now my plan is to take my knight all the way to b1, a3 and b5. I shouldn't have moved the knight <laughs> in my hindsight I feel that. But anyways I like that. I like the square of knight on b5. So let so let us get it there I think uh, my black bishop uh, is very important because it can cut through the squares and also the bishop pair is important here okay now where are you going to go babe 
he can come to he can come to a h4 h the knight is next coming to h4 and targeting the and is next targeting the f3 pawn which is weak i got it so what am i supposed to do so i can defend it in in two ways one is going to bishop g2 and then bishop e2 but bishop d2 also gets with an attack that defeats the then knight coming to h4 attacks both bishop and pawn that is not an a favorable situation so i am going with this bishop e2 move okay is challenging my bishop um e4 but what option do i have should i make it a possible favorable trade i cannot come to bishop g3 because uh, knight can take and then i lose a pawn uh, so so either i can uh, go to so either i can go to uh, uh, i can take the bishop and let the queen in okay i like this move better because when my when my uh, knight sits on b5 it's going to control that square okay he's going to give a check if i okay the knight can come to knight g g2 plus and if i try to defend it with uh, rook g1 um then it will then the queen enters so i think for now i can the main main ideas are one is castling and the other is uh, see what happens if i get the knight if the knight comes to g1 here yeah, the side lose the right to castle so it's better castle now we'll try to occupy the open spaces and see what we can do i should be thinking fast i should be thinking quick okay my next move will be knight b5 if i am not seeing any threats from his move and then and then okay where does he want to go acha he doesn't want me to come to knight b5 okay fine fine but i have another move as well i can bring my knight okay i can bring my rook on d1 to g1 and then by doing that i'll be attacking the g7 pawn as well and also my idea is to get the knight um and also next come there I think this is a good plan. Oh man, I am burning out my time like anything. But I want to improve this part as well. I need to think quick, quick.
okay this is weekend of the black squares here but what it has done as well is how many squares does the knight have right now only one but can i cover it with a pawn i don't think so see what happens if i go for e4 If I go for e4, the queen gets a chance to give a check, and the knight can come enter. So e4 is not an option for me yet. So the better option is. Now I think I can go for e4. So what are his options? He cannot come and give a check. That's what I have blocked. See what happens if he plays h5. He attacks my rook. My rook has to go back. Okay, thank God he didn't play. Now if I Now I do have the option of uh, closing the, but I don't want to close it because closing is not beneficial for me. Okay, you come with a pawn, man. He doesn't have a black bishop, so I'm confident to move into black space. But all in all these things, my whose structure do you think is better? I think he has a three pawns, four pawns, uh, three pawns on the king side and four pawns on the queen side. Uh, my rooks are a bit active I guess but I have a lot of chances of doubling doubling things so I'm not yet ready to exchange pieces to exchange a lot of pieces I think now he will go to go with castling This means that he is making ready to push. See, my calculation is if he pushes, he has to, I have to. So if I attack, he has two still, he has two defenders, so I cannot uh, do that. So he may win the battle here, outro pushing, but do I have the possibility to attack here, if I take my queen, you can just simply move the queen, king 
and uh, it is the case So I need to think about this thing. I need to worry about B5 push. So if I have to avoid the B5 push, then I have to get my knight there first. So I think that is the way. I'm attacking the queen. Let me see his response. He'll take. He'll take. I don't want to waste my time. What can I do? Okay. I'll go and attack this thing now. I'll go and attack this rook. Let me see what he'll do. Okay. Let me go to another rook. I think he can cancel as well. Okay. So he's confident. He's so he's pretty confident that he can do something miracle. What happens if I go and give a check here? He has to move his king. He can get his knight to block. Is it? I don't think. I don't think there is any obstruction for me. I think that is a blunder. From his side. See, man, look at the time, man. I'm just four minutes. Yeah, he realized his blunder. I understood it. I'm not going to play, man. Okay. Okay, bye.